all welcome back in this video I'm going to give you a really quick fast easy rundown of how I make these lighted photos pictures what have you out of gift bags from the Dollar Tree and you've probably seen these floating around on Facebook Pinterest and whatnot and they're incredibly simple to make but I'm still going to do just a really brief video to show you guys how to put one together you can see like the fire there off on off on <laughs> but they're really pretty um in dimmer light um in the dark they're they're really really nice now a word here i leave the glass in my frames when i make these but because my lights were reflecting in them and making a glare i took the glass out but i suggest leaving the glass in because if you leave it out see the picture kind of buckles a little bit and it doesn't look as nice but yeah just leave the glass in it looks a lot better so what you need, the tabs are falling off of my frame because my frame has been used so much. But uh, what you need to make this is, of course, a gift bag. This is a really pretty one from Dollar Tree. You also need a set of LED lights. I suggest using the yellow ones. They do have clear, blue, red, green, and the yellow. The yellow does give a warmer look, so I suggest using the yellow. You need scissors and some tape and a little bit of Velcro. Now, a word on the gift bags. What you want to look for to make a nice picture out of is you, you want to look for what I call like sources of light. Like the fireplace here, that's a source of light. The lights on the tree, that's another source of light. You just want to look for things on the bag and in the picture that would normally be lit up if, if it was real life. Like I saw one that was a really pretty cabin in the woods. So the windows in that cabin, you know, would be a source of light. Um, I saw one with a lighthouse that would be really cute too. But basically, all you do, this is so simple, all you do is you cut out the picture from the gift bag to fit your frame. And then you just take your lights and you tape them down to make the, the front of the bag light up. Like the fireplace here, I just held my lights behind it, you know, once I cut it out, just to see, you know, how it would look. And just whenever you find a place that looks good, just tape your lights down. Now for the fireplace, I wanted it a little bit brighter than of course, the, you know, the lights on the tree. So I put four lights together and then I taped them down. Now, when you put your tape on the lights, what you want to do is put the tape up against the side of the lights and then kind of wrap it around the lights and then press it down against the side here. If you just stick the tape on, stick it on, stick it on, the, the lights are thick and the tape is just going to start to buckle and your picture is eventually going to kind of start buckling and folding in on itself and it's, it's really going to be rippled and stuff in the front and it's not really going to look good. So on each light, as you can see, I kind of tried my best to, you know, press it around the side of the light to kind of hold it down that way. And then once you get all of your lights in place, you just replace the back of your, of your picture frame here. And the lights are bulky, so you're not going to be able to put the back on really tightly. So, you know, you may want to tape the back on or just, just be careful as you press the tabs down. You just barely want to put the back on because the lights, like I said, are bulky and you'll bust the glass in the front if you're not careful. And so with the battery pack, so that it's not floating around everywhere, I just put a piece of Velcro on my frame back and a piece of Velcro on the battery pack itself. You stick it down like that and there you go there there's your your lit up picture you know really simple to make really inexpensive and they look really really good um, if you don't see any gift bags that you like look in the greeting card section and get a smaller frame I've seen some really beautiful greeting cards that made some really nice um, lit up pictures but that's all that there is to this you know just really really fast I mean you can make these in like 10 minutes it's so quick and it would be a really good craft. You know, the kids like to help, you know, stick the lights on and stuff. So, really fun and it's pretty. It looks a lot better with the lights dim. But, you know, there it is. So, if you would, please click that subscribe button and check me out on my website and Facebook. The links to both of those are in the description box down below. Keep your eyes out for more Christmas crafts because I'll be posting a lot more of those relatively soon. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.